with hair, long, beautiful hair, shining, gleaming, streaming, flaxing, waxing. Give me down to there, shoulder length. 830 now on a Thursday morning. It's the 13th day of March 2008. You know that they say, Meredith says every morning, it's all about the hair. That's just a little glimpse into the hair-raising drama at the international hairstylist competition known as Hair World. And in, wow. <laughs> in just wow. a little while, some of the medal winners, the award winners, are going to be here on our plaza, as you can see. And they're going to be styling the hair of some lucky people in our audience. So we're going to get to cool. check that out in just a little while. Meanwhile, out on the plaza, I'm Matt Lauer, along with Mary. <laughs> Every field has its highest honors. In film, it's the Oscars. Football, of course, probably the Super Bowl MVP in hairstyling. It is winning the gold at Hair World. And today, correspondent Jenna Wolf is here with more. Jenna, good morning. I thought your hair would be wild. I'm sure you would think that. <laughs> it was going to be, but we, we're going to save Call that for down. some other lucky people. More than 800 hairdressers from nearly 50 different countries recently converged upon Chicago for Hair World. Each hair guru hoping to wash out and blow away the company. Petition. Four, three, two, one, and go. For three days, this is the center of the hair universe. Ponytails, long nails, real hair. I don't look good. Hair flying, blowers drying, and more hairspray than hairspray. It's literally the Olympics of hair. We have hairdressers who come from literally all over the world. Welcome to Hair World, and for the first time since 2002, the United States is playing host to the international competition. This at America's Beauty Trade Show in Chicago. I don't think we're seeing a lot of these styles on the street or in the salons right now, correct? What you see on the street is very much inspired by the work that you'll see here. If you're going to want me to believe that on Saturday nights, people from Chicago look like that, yes. then I'm moving Saturday. here tomorrow. The event features categories for ladies' hair and for gents' hair, for the amateur hairdresser and the professional. We've been training since November, and it's every day, every weekend. Why? What does it take to win? A lot of hard work. I mean, you have to be able to get to the point to doing it in your sleep. Oh, 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 oh. Stronzek, Dale Dees, and Stephanie Loy are among the 13 stylists representing the U.S. They compete as teams and as individuals. Oh, this is nervous. What are the judges looking for? They look for form, they look for finish. There's 50 or 60 other girls they've got to look at. You have to grab their attention in a split second. Are you a model? No, I'm a judge. You're a judge? Do you think it's bad that I'm talking to you if you're a judge? No, no, no. I can't say that I love your tie. <laughs> that won't help like the United States team win or anything. Which one's your son? Dale. Dale right Dale. there? For me, this is my creative outlet. Some people golf, some people, you know, go sailing. I compete. <laughs> but the stylists aren't working alone out there. Their models are a big part of the competition as well. You're constantly getting tugged on, sprayed, pulled. And there are some casualties out there, are there not? Multiple models fainted today. Fainted. Fainted. Hello, Ron. Undeterred by the dangers, I stepped up and put my hair in the hands of Ron Hawkins, who's been training the U.S. team for six years. I want outlandish. I want colorful. I want, I want loud, Ronnie. All right. I look like I had one heck of a night. <laughs> Backstage, a flurry of activity. Get ready to compete. We oh have the God. comb in hand. Comb in Out on the competition floor, each event is timed. Every second counts. Five minutes left. And like all good games, Hair World culminates in a lavish award ceremony, complete with a parade of nations and the awarding of medals. The winner is... Dale Dees from the United States of America! I came in third individual, and overall our team came in fifth, so I'm really excited about that. I feel amazing, like, I've conquered everything, I've worked hard, and it really paid off. 
as it turns out, we have the U.S. team members and medal winners, Dale Dees, and there's Vicki Stronzak out on the plaza doing their thing. They will join us in our fourth hour to give the Herald look to lucky members of our crowd, or unlucky. So no, no, lucky. There's lucky. team awards, and then there's, there's individual awards, awards. and there's individual awards. Dale Just came like in first place in the individual, which wow, is great, that's... and Vicki came in third. It was nice. It was and great to I be there. I liked your hair that way. You did? I did. Good, because then you can do it tomorrow, <laughs> and then walk around the city with it. So that would be perfect. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Jim. Okay. That was fun. Thanks. That's a lot of good. Uh -huh. yeah. Also coming up, <laughs> yes. we're going to be talking about some women. We grab them from our crowd, mm -hmm. and we're basically going to give them uh, a new hairdo. Better we basically hair. have stylists Dale Dees and Vicki Stronzek. They're both fresh from their gold and bronze medal wins, respectively, at the International Hair World Competition. And that's where 800 hairdressers from nearly 50 countries compete in some very intense events. So anyway, so Dale... And Vicky have found some volunteers this morning. And so, Dale, I want to know what what are you doing to these lovely girls? We're going to do something fun and exciting, and and it's going to be really, really off the cup. And we are excited to be here today. You're going to see something that you've never seen before. Dale, <laughs> is it like runway hair? It is going to be competition. Not something you wear every day. No, definitely not. It's just going to be um, competition hair, um, haute couture hair, nothing that you can wear to, um, to get a cup of coffee. No. <laughs> well, so we want to thank our, uh, our two uh, women who have agreed to do this because they're very adventurous. Yeah, they are very Anyways, adventurous. Anyways, we'll be checking back in to find out what Dale does in just a few moments, but now... early to get to uh, nightly news and here with two really terrific people we've got Dale Dees on my right we've got Vicki Strong's neck on my left these are both recent medal winners in this really cool story we did there's this, there's something that's sort of the Olympics of hair more than 800 stylists participate from 50 nations and they create these perfectly gorgeously outrageous okay. hairdos earlier this is what we did we went on the plaza we found two lucky ladies and we brought them to our little studio outside studio 1a where they are right now so I've got <laughs> Dale how's it going over here it's with this amazing it's she's She's an amazing model. I love it. Now these these hairstyles are so beautiful and so crazy at the same time. <laughs> now you. did you did you dye her hair? I see orange. Are you oh, no. you're okay? <laughs> These are, these are just hair extensions that yeah. I've actually cut off and I've glued together and put a little hairpin on it and voila. And you are the gold medal winner. Does I it am. feel so good to be the gold medal <laughs> <Yeah>. winner? <laughs> now, tell me about this. this is, you're playing beat the clock when you're doing this. You can't just lollygag. You've got to pop, pop, oh, pop, no. right? You know, we practice from morning to night yeah. and we get this down to a science. So we know where every single piece of hair goes. We know which spray to use, which pin to use, uh, where to put it, and it's awesome. Okay, we're going to come back and see how they are a little bit later. Let's go to Vicki, who's our bronze medal winner. How are you, honey? Fine, how are you? You get such a rush, I can tell when you're doing this. What happens to you when you're doing hair like this? I just, I get in the zone, and I mean, the adrenaline starts to pump, and I start creating, and it's, it's amazing. Do you look at her face, this beautiful woman, from the, and say, I've got to figure out what I can do? You do, and I mean, you look at the mirror, and you figure out if there should be more of a fringe, yeah. or if you need to pull hair away from the face. All right. Now, Vicki, Dale, we're going to talk to you a little later, and we're going to talk to our two lucky ladies from the plaza again at the end of the show. Let's uh, head back inside. And we are back with our award-winning stylist, Dale Dees and Vicki Strasnick. They have been working madly all morning on these great hairdos. Okay, one of them, we found these women out on the plaza. The first one is Lauren Marstrand. Let's take a look at Lauren before. Lauren, there's Lauren before. All right, let's see the funky new do, Lauren. Oh my, <laughs> look what you've done to her. Tell me about the new look real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't have that much time, so I just took a couple hair pieces and created an art piece of art just for you. All right, Dale, let's move. Thank you. All right, now next over here we have um, Vicky's volunteer is Stacy before, and here is Stacy now. Take a look. Very glamorous. <laughs> so what did you do, Vicky? We basically did some braids and we swelled them out, brought them around the back, did some braiding wow. here and swelled it out. So a lot of braids and a lot of texture. What are the what are the ladies gonna do? You're gonna have fun tonight with this yeah. music? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you. Everybody Bye, have guys. a great day. Thank Bye. You. <laughs>